I hear that. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So I want to bring you in. I don't know how we're doing this. We're going to now have him in the camera since, you know, he's way more good looking than I am. <laughs> so some of you are going to turn it. Turn, 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 please. And hold on. Well, you have to come in. You can't come in the camera. Is there no way? Yeah. All right, we see ah, it. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and of course, guess what? The bio is on the camera, so I ah. can't even <laughs> introduce you properly. Um, no, as best as I can. I'll fill in the spaces. All right. So, <clears throat> off the top of my head, we have the wonderful um, Mr. Roger Moore. And uh, he is in studio. He is the CEO. Well, yes, yes well, founder. Yes. Um, he's a franchise owner of Remax. He is the CEO of a science company. Tell me the name of the science company. All, right. I'll, I'll all that definitely. stuff. Yes, so please I'm, do. I'm the, I'm the CEO of the Remax Real Estate Group. So all those Remax Real Estate signs you see over the country. That's that's us. I'm the founder of Cash Show Club TNT, um, which is one of Rich Dad's largest and most active Cash Show Clubs on planet Earth. Um, I am, what else? I'm a sales trainer, financial trainer, yes. uh, national athlete. Uh, I think that's basically everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, ma my major claim to fame is, uh, if you know the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad, a six-time New York Times bestseller. Um, I'm the one who runs their program. Um, I've been running it since 2005 and we have trained thousands of people. Yes, yes, yes. I also, and yes, if you've been on Facebook from Ohi Oho times, um, it has been, it, I, I always saw the ads for the Cash Club Club and whatnot, and it was just like, well, what is this about? But then, you know, I got into it maybe 10 years later, mm -hmm. and best thing I ever did because I learned a lot about finance and whatnot. Now, today's show is going to kind of, well, you're gonna you taking over that. Oh right, nice. Right? Entrepreneurship <laughs> and crime because me and oh, I never did no crime. Um, <laughs> and anybody catch me on. But um I, I like the song you just played. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. That is yes. I heard it. It's by Kareen Ashe, amazing singer. Poverty is no excuse for crime. For crime. Yeah. Because uh -huh. we, we don't see much crime in West Morans or the Park. Eh? Mm. And so people don't acknowledge that. Well, Maybe money some, has a pro guess, has a has a part mm, to play or lack thereof. Okay, wait. And, so you're saying that there is then an excuse for crime? <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, um, the people, most of the people who are committing most of the violent crime mm -hmm. are lower income groups. Right? Okay, so the people, right? And 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 the major, what everybody knows is the solution to that problem is jobs, right? right Unemployment that, is driving crime. Right? That's, that at least that's the common perception. Right. Um. If that is the case, well, we already have a solution to that, and we've we had it since two thousand and five, and that's cash flow because it gets people into business and at a very fast pace too. You know, and what what really gets people attention is the the the, the speed. I, I want to hear more on that, but before I do, I want to just tell my listeners that you can call in. This is an interactive show. If you have questions for Mister, we could do we could do guided questions. Guided question. Yeah, okay. so like with any topic, we could ask them a question based on exactly what we're talking about. Well, you can do that and you can call 622-4911. I like what you're saying there. And we have a caller. Hmm? Okay. Hello, good day. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi. Um, this topic is a two-fold one. Yes. Um, when you look at this, what you saying is correct. But there's a twist to it, as Roger Moore just mentioned, that also is in keeping of what we term not non uh, white color crime is among the masses who are in poverty. I was coming, um, I was going to say that too, question, so good one, good one. The question I want to ask is that you see what is going on in Haiti, and that has to do with those who are poor. So therefore, I quite agree with Roger Moore, even though there's a twist, there's a double meaning behind uh, that song. Mm -hmm. 
the way she articulated her preciseness, the music that generates a, a, a compliment. I like a compliment, Karen Ashe, because she actually said she was in poverty. Mm. She went on to mention Oprah Winfrey. So it is a well constructed song, and I think Mr. Morse had listened to it a little more carefully. And the way how that built up of that song was by Christoph Brand. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you Paul. so much. That was, that was, and I liked his incisiveness with that because I was going to bring up the white collar crime. Mm -hmm. That's why I made a distinction. <clears throat> That's a bad and crime. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. The mostly violent crime is, is done on. So, so you know, what, what we have been saying and what is written about Rich Dad Poor Dad and mm -hmm. why it stands out as the number one selling personal finance book of all time, six yeah. time New York Times bestseller. Um, we're looking at a book that has changed billions of people's lives worldwide, a book that has written in over 150 languages. Um, and the tagline for the book is what the rich teach their kids about money mm -hmm. that the poor middle class do not. Now, <clears throat> I, the guy, so he wrote Richard Porter and all the other Rich Dad books, mm -hmm. but he invented the cash flow board game that teaches investing and that kind of thing. Now, when I was in university, I, I was in business school at Roy Tech in Fortescue. Um, we had an entrepreneurship project and I actually started Cash Flow Club as an entrepreneurship project at Roy Tech. Before you continue, another uh, person is calling in. Uh, Paula, could you do me a favor and just lower the volume on the radio? Please. Hi, morning, morning. I agree because it came, this crime and going on came from houses. Houses? Right? Mm -hmm. The parents didn't, not talking to the children and the care, talk to them and say, I'm going to have a man, a man or father to son talk. Mm -hmm. The children will be killing and raping. So I agree totally. Okay. Totally. Thank you. Just call a crime and just crime and going on, it comes from houses, parents who can't train the children properly. Ah, so from the home. Points, uh -huh. the home. Yep. Thank, wow, yeah, I, I see your point. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right? Right. Yes. So I just say when you, when you, you, you cry and you cry, I just tell them if you don't want any block, or they come up the block, or they know they put it on hold, or they put it in the same thing and you go to the much love you made a valid point thank you again so <clears throat> with in reference to the point he made mm -hmm. it's true but the the the, the issue is uh, when people uh, do those courses they get jobs mm -hmm. they get low pay now our perspective is different we teach people how to own your own business so instead of you becoming a nail tech you own your own nail tech business it's a different, different. set of skills mm -hmm. different um, different people skills you need to learn to sell you need to learn how to lead a team those things you don't learn in the school system. You also need to learn real estate. Again, not taught in the school system. You also need to learn business, how to how to read financial statements and investments. Again, not taught in the school system. You need to mm -hmm. learn how to calculate return on investment so you always have over 30% ROI in every single deal you make. Again, mm -hmm. not taught in the school system. You also need to learn how to raise capital, debt financing, equity financing for investors. Again, not taught in the school oh, system. Wait, I, I, I want to hold you on that. Somebody is is calling it. How listen? 
This is a hot topic. Good 18 morning. Eighteen years, huh? Eighteen years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi there. Good morning. Is this Mano? No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It sounded just like Mano. Shout out to you. Know. Sorry, say that again. Topic on point. You know, I'm just cutting some heavy, heavy metal there, and I have to give my two cents. Because when I grew up as a child, my mother and my father migrated to the United States. So we were all left alone. Wow. Four kids. But we have our big brother. Your big brother. You look after. Who looked after you, you said? Huh? Who did you say looked after you? My big brother. Okay. Wow. Wow. Very clear. We just started getting let out. And we couldn't even know that I had a family that was in school. So, um, for the people who did not come out in the career, non functional as a person. So the parents left, and the big brother to my name. No, not, what do you say now? Parents left them, and the big brother, like, the children left behind, and the big brother take care of them, it look like. Yeah. They get stuck in poverty. Without getting in trouble. Mm. I think they have it Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you you, so you agree with all of that? So yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. But again, they don't teach sales in the school system. <clears throat> and even if they taught sales in the school system, they would teach with an academic kind of the classroom style approach, which mm -hmm. again doesn't work. You have to use an interactive approach to teach sales. See, and okay, so I'm, I just listen. I don't know what it is. You, and you know what? I do know what it is. Why <laughs> this is happening? We have another call, but I want to say this before we bring in that caller. Mm -hmm. Very interesting that you say all those different things. The 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 different. Um, the ROIs and mm -hmm. all of those things are not being taught in, school. Not in school. Then mm -hmm. how in heaven's name is anyone to become an entrepreneur to even have a business? Exactly. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna bring in the caller. Hello. Good morning. Yes, Karen. Back to you, the one. I grew up with my grandmother, my mother, right? Yes, darling. Nine children, five years, four boys. Uh -huh. so Nine children? children. Wait, I know that's <laughs> what you said. Okay, go ahead. All right. Mm -hmm. I just say, God really bless the hands that give us carry us to school, torture us when we go. But on the other that I was glad to get in the licks. Keep running. Four boys, four boys, Rachel Price and Aisha Ross. Wait, what? Yes. You're related to Rachel Price? Yeah, not. Eh, eh. Not and you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I'm sorry, 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 i am sorry i am sorry i am sorry i am sorry i am that is my sister. We have a little son and a little falling out. But I want to I just say divine order. I'm glad you're on the air now. I learned to forgive. Put it in your heart. Yes, thank you. God raise your hand. Wow. To the hand that feeds you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's but good. Those are wise, know. wise words. Those are really wise words. No, she, she used to do that. She hit my grandma. She hit my grandma already. And I used to tell her. Darling, darling, darlin. remember you're on air soon. No, I, I don't want to be airing anybody in on laundry. Please. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> but that is all I can tell you. Yes. All right, love. We're going back in. Thanks again. And entrepreneurship. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, funny enough, um, so I haven't done I haven't done speeches in about four or five years because of mm. pandemic and all that stuff, right? Um yeah. 
But funny enough, when we go to schools and we, we go to hotspots and that kind of thing, um, and, and we talk to so-called delinquent kids, um, what people are shocked when I when we talk is the same kids are, that are being told that they're dancing and they're dancing and they're dancing all the time, and mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not doing well in school. They can't function well in the classroom. Um, mm -hmm. Their grades are very low. They're not stimulated intellectually by what's being taught in the curriculum because they don't think it applies to their real life. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. Because the kids these days are a bit smarter. They have more they access are. to information. Mm -hmm. right? They have access to the internet. They have access to social media. Some so of them are even more e emotionally intelligent right. than the parents. Mm -hmm. And more you could say overall more intelligent <laughs> in a way. Mm -hmm. You might not like to admit that, but that's the fact Speak of the for yourself. No. But so, so they want to make money. Yeah. Right, they yeah. know they're going through this entire school thing to make money at the end of the day. They want to graduate from school mm -hmm. and make plenty of money. But the reality of the situation is when they graduate from university, mm -hmm. they get a minimum wage and they get a low pay, right? right? And then you go through life as an employee, even up to PhD level, and you're still brooks every month. You're living oh, paycheck to true. paycheck, yeah. right? That's a reality. Expenses are going up every every year, but your paycheck remaining the same. So we were having this conversation over and over, and it's happened all over the world. And nobody's coming up with a solution and mm -hmm. we have a solution for the longest while so i'll be honest with you mm -hmm. we had a politician who we, we know we can get it in the school system because it's in trend mm -hmm. so um he was trying to get it into the national financial literacy program with central bank and in fact he actually came up with the program mm -hmm. um, but when it started they left us out because their approach was academic classroom style and they taught mutual funds and pension plans and insurance and those kinds of things whereas what we teach, we teach about business, we teach about real estate, stocks, sales, negotiation, cold calling, how to sell real estate, how to raise capital, how to, how to buy a business, right? right. How, to, how to refinance the statements and investments, how to, how to do a proper retirement plan and plan, retirement, you know, a retirement plan, right? Not just rely on a pension plan alone, but other stuff as okay, well, right. like okay. rental, real estate, property. <laughs> and it's true, uh, it doesn't... I guess it doesn't serve them to have the rest of the community understanding those. Well, it's a shame problems. because everybody should learn real estate and everybody I should learn so. business. Everybody, in fact, I mean, I'm kind of I. Okay, so when I was in university and I started Castro Club, I, mm -hmm. I honestly, personally, I thought it was the solution to poverty, and it, we still think it is. Mm -hmm. I thought they was gonna roll out the red carpet first when we graduated from university. Look, one of my classmates right here from university, we graduated in two thousand six. Oh. It didn't happen. We were we were left to put. We, they put us in the in the private sector to compete against Arthur Log Jack, right? After all these years, we competed successfully, and now we're in real estate sales. We're still not in the school system. We're still operating on our own with not much support. I mean, we don't ask for help that much, but still, I mean, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we train thousands upon thousands of people. I mean, that's crazy. I, I mean, uh. it speaks to the, so. the power that you have, the, 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 the product. Well, I'm saying product, but mm -hmm. what you have, it speaks to that if thousands of people are coming mm -hmm. consistently. Well, we want to eradicate poverty, and that's our aim. And we want to prove that the solution to poverty is interactive financial and sales training. So you're saying that if one was to become i'm just i'm simplifying say it of course and then please yes. el elaborate on it but essentially the connection with entrepreneurship and, and crime that is happening or at least even the violent crimes that happen is financial it's the financial it's financial mm -hmm. so if one was to be given the power to be able to control that financial and bring it uh, through entrepreneurship it could it would affect the level of or the rate of crime in Trinidad. There are a lot of poor people who would prefer to make money in business mm -hmm. than to sell illegal substances to make money. I would because think so. you're not going to go to jail <laughs> accidentally. You're not going to get shot accidentally. Yeah. You have access to make way more money if it's a legal business. If you mm -hmm. tell ordinary people that and you give them the skills to make it, they're going to do it. Not all of them, right. because you're going to have some people who have so mental it, illnesses yes. and you know not getting treatment and they probably just stuck on crime or yeah. I don't know the excitement of it or mental whatever. illness mm -hmm. yeah. but the vast majority of people don't want to be in the situation that they're in financially and they want to dig themselves out and you have to give them the skills they need to dig themselves out unfortunately most all the institutions out there are using old techniques and it's just not working and people know it so even without any advertising we are able to function and we now have Remax we now creating jobs, you know, selling real estate, compete against Terra Caribbean. And what people don't know is 
Remax that competing in Starcraft again is actually a, the solution to poverty that wrapped up in a real estate franchise. <laughs> we have to find ways to make money and, and pay bills and continue to grow. And that's what's happening right now. So all those Remax signs you seen all over the country we selling real estate. Just do business with us. We're not asking for no money. Just do business with us. As much business as possible. Folks, we are here. Conversations with Karen Marie. I'm so glad that uh, I have Mr. Roger Moore in studio right now if you have comments you have questions for him um can, pertaining to entrepreneurship or pertaining to the crime rates in Trinidad today we can call 6224911 he is pretty awesome um i'm just going to take a quick break and we'll be right back <laughs> 